What is going on, my friend? Welcome back to the Podcast Domination Show, or welcome for the first time if you're a new time listener. Now, today's episode is a repost from a recent Facebook Live video that I did, and I know it's super valuable. The volume or the the audio quality may not be the best, but I know the content is top-notch, hence why I put it on the podcast. So without further ado, enjoy, and be sure to join us over on Facebook in the podcaster's inner circle if you haven't already. I'll see you later. Bye. What we're going to cover today is the 90-day podcast blueprint. So sometimes seeing the long game in podcasting is something that's hard. And especially if you're trying to figure out like, how am I going to monetize it? How am I going to grow it? And like, you're like, you're not even sure if you even want to continue to do this if you don't have a plan for growth, right? Or you don't want to put money into it to make money, or you don't want to do anything with it because you're not sure of the future. I get it. Um, one of the ways to get clear and get and to defeat that fear and that 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 anxiety is to actually sit down and plan your content. So the document down here that I have is actually in the group. Let's see here. It's actually in well. It's in the group. Just trust that it's in the group. Don't worry. So you can find this here. You can download it. I'll make sure it's linked in the comments as well. And by the way, put um, hashtag replay or hashtag live if you're um, checking this out live or if you are on the replay because I want to know. So let's go through this together, right? So this is the 90-day plain worksheet. You got a couple of tab, different tabs here. You got a sample calendar, you got calls to action, all kinds of cool stuff. What I like to do when I'm planning stuff is I like to actually plan around what I'm already going to be doing. So if I know I'm going to be promoting something or we're launching a new thing, um, or if I'm going to be, is there something I, I know that I like to cover around this time of year? So for example, like 90 days, the first, like next nine days is going to be like February, um, January and December, obviously. So what a lot is going to be talking about is like the new year, new goals, new, new ambitions, new things like that. Also reflecting on things going to be, I've already talked about or reflecting on the year that's passed. So I like to focus my content on what I'm going to be promoting or what I'm going to be talking about, or I know my audience is going to be thinking about in the next couple of months. So this has some steps, not going to lie. This is, this is something I've done a, a few months ago. I created this a few months ago. So my thoughts and how I approach this has evolved and changed and it's always changing. So I have to read through that actually a little bit of this to make sure I'm still in line with this. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. So pretty much it's in line with this, right? So um, what we're doing here is number one, you want to establish baseline goals. So like I want to have like 30 podcast episodes out in the next three months, or I want to have this many downloads, or or we want to kind of get clear on like a goal. And maybe you don't have a goal. Maybe the goal is like, I just want to cover these these topics, right? Um, It doesn't have to be like a numbers goal or anything like that. But ideally, if you're going to be spending time promoting this or planning this content, you might have to have like a, you want it to have some kind of clear, specific goal. so that's number one for me, the next, the next couple of months, the goal is to really, Hmm, I would say it's about, I like to just produce really, really fun content, which isn't really a, a goal. What I want to say, my goal is I want to release 20 episodes, 20 more episodes on, on my podcast domination show. And I want to cre- increase or want to drop another 10 episodes on 80. So all in all 30 episodes. Um, so that's kind of the 90 day goal for, you know, the next three months. Like it's not a, as I'm downloads a goal, it's simply just, I want to get these pieces of content done. Um, and if you're not sure on like this, if you don't have any specific goals and just skip it, it's not like a set in stone thing, right? If you don't have goals, you just want to plan your content. That's cool too. So <clears throat> I know my three pillars I know my kind of like my pillars for my podcast, like what I talk about my show are growth, monetization, launching, and scale. So for me, a lot of this is going to be next year is going to be like launching. It's also going to be about growing because everyone's asking about how do I grow a podcast? 
So that's going to be that, that could literally be like, we could spend the whole month on just January, just talking about launching. And then we can talk about growing it in, in February. Right. I could simply do that, uh, which I probably will for this example. Uh, and then to find, we're going to do that. Okay, cool. So let's just say, and here's some of the key factors I want you guys to check out too. Like just some good questions to ask yourself. Like if you're launching a new product, then you probably want to talk about the product on the podcast, right? Or if you know your audience always has specific problems around this time of year, like goal setting, then it makes sense to make a goal setting series at this time of year. Um, holidays and events, depending on what you're doing, could be very, very powerful and like important for sales. And it's important for growing an audience and getting more attention in this time of year. So keep in mind those couple of key factors when it comes to like determining what you're going to be talking about. Um, do, 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 do. A couple other good links in here. But I want you guys to check out this too, because this is like really, this is really helpful if you don't know what to, what to write about or what to like to talk about in your podcast. Uh, or if you just don't know what are, what are your options, right? This is always just good to, to get an idea of like what your options are. So I'll come in here sometimes and I will look and I'll, I'll add some, but pretty much these are all different styles of shows. So you can look at how you could do, how you could kind of tailor the content to hit on every one of these, or, you know, maybe you just need this for inspiration on like your next 10 episodes. It doesn't really matter. But I want you guys to make sure you leverage this this resource because it's a really, really strong resource to help you. And I've also linked out every single one of these podcasts, except for these are new ones. You can tell because I haven't listed them. I haven't given them examples yet. But every one of these podcast episodes, you can see an example. So you can click down here and you can actually go and check out an example of every single one of these podcast episodes so that you know what it sounds like. So really powerful Make sure you take advantage of that. Um, but okay, let's just say my my podcast um, for January, we'll type in like January right here. And then I will type in February here. So we will type in those. We're also going to type in here what we're going to talk about overall. So the top bracket where my little cursor is at, it's going to be launching. And what I'll do is, oh no, sorry, that should be here, launching. And then the title of the episode and a short description will go here. So if my show drops on like a Friday, I would put in the Friday box. It'd be like, you know, seven smart marketing um, ideas to launch a podcast in 2020 okay and that's just an idea like so what else would i would put in there would be things like maybe there's a specific blog link i want to like i want to model or i want to like reference i would put you know if i'm not gonna if i'm gonna record these like a couple weeks later i'm gonna want to remember this stuff right so i'm gonna be like um, you know, talk about, you know, seven, you guys can hear my phone, um, seven unique angles from Dan Kennedy, right? So whatever that case may be, put your links, put everything in there so that you're done with it for the most part. Um, so you're good to go. Second week, I could talk about, you know, three deadly launch mistakes boom 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 and then i can add in some other ones here boom 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 all the way to, to month two month two like we said would be um growth and i do the same thing i would just jump in i would add them to the box that corresponds with my launch day right so you can have all that here and you keep going and keep going, keep going. So this helps you just keep organized all your stuff. Um, if you have multiple podcast episodes per week, you can do like a FAQ, a case study, a random thoughts one, um, depending on what your cadence is. And then last but not least, I've got a bunch of CTAs here that you can use 
if you don't know exactly what to say, you just have to read these off, plug in some details, and you're good to go. So that's that. I'm trying to think of one other thing I think we needed. I'll be updating this and tweaking it. So use this. What I would do is hit file, make a copy, and then you're off to the races. So check that out. Enjoy it. And everyone in this group has no excuse now to not have 90 days with the content or at least 30 days with the content um, roughly planned out. It doesn't have to be like completely perfect, but just roughly planned out would be great. So I'll see you guys. Happy holidays. Hey, and don't forget, I have a number of free bonuses for you. That's, yes, these are free templates, guides, and stuff that I've actually included in my recent book, How to Get Your First 100,000 Downloads in 100 Days. But you don't even have to buy the book. I'm just going to give this to you for free. All you have to do is go to Lewis Ryan, Luis Ryan, L U I S R Y A N dot com forward slash book. There is a simple form where you fill out your name and your email, and you get a ton of free stuff, all the templates and guides that I include in the book, but you don't have to buy the book. So you're saving yourself a chunk of money um, that literally will take you probably less than two minutes to accomplish or perform. So enjoy that. That's my gift to you. Use it. Don't just let it fall by the wayside. And I'll see you on the next episode.